Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Once again, welcome to Fahad's tutorial. And in this video, we will be discussing about X credit system. And it's uh, about SSC level biology. I mean, students of English version of SSC level and O level students. Because uh, level is important because you see the main content of this chapter is individually itself a chapter. So, the main content that we need to understand primarily uh, uh, from this chapter when we'll study the whole things and the visualization is important. You see that we need to know about excretory system, what is this, and then what are the excretory products, and you might know about urea, uric acid, and creatinine earlier. So, these are the excretory product, and there are a lot of other products, but these are the main. We need to know about kidney, the structure of it, the ultrascopic structure and, and we need to know about the functions of kidney. Then the structural unit of kidney is nephron. We need to know that how to draw the nephron, what are the parts of the nephron and then what are the functions of nephron. So this is a lot of explanations. Number five, we need to know about osmoregulation. What is it? I mean how our body is regulating and this osmotic pressure is regulating the water balance in our body and then the pathological condition which is kidney stone or renal stone how this stone is formed inside and what are the precautions we need to take about to get rid of that number seven is kidney failure or renal failure we need to know dialysis and transplantation you see that each and every single content itself a chapter so here in one chapter i'm just i'm just thinking that how to explain it but i will maintain the level because what is the level is explained in your book try to understand clearly i hope you already see this picture which is already given to your book in this video i shall only explain primarily what is the excretory system is so to define excretory system is a system by which a human body is get rid of the waste product and these are the nitrogenous product we know that in our day-to-day -day life we take food in order to uh, produce energy and this is all about a metabolic process. You know that when you take uh, pulse, meat, eggs and milk, these are proteins. And when we take proteins through this process of digestion, it actually produces amino acids. And then these amino acids is actually uh, helping us to rebuild and for the cellular growth. After that metabolic process, some nitrogenous substance which is not essential, which is even harmful is producing in our body and that should be eliminated and that should be disposed to our, from our body. So as this entire system is working, is entire system which is working to eliminate this waste product from our body that is excretory system. Now you know this bean shaped organ, two organs are the kidneys. The kidneys. We'll explain in the next video the entire uh, uh, structure of kidneys but in this video I'm just giving you the primary level of the system in these two bean shaped organ are kidneys. Now you think that what are the organs and what are the things is made up of this excretory system. These two kidneys, this is left kidney, this is right kidney and you see the reddish artery that is come from the heart you know this is you know that artery is uh, originated from heart and then it moves around to the body to to to, product, to carry out the oxygenated blood so this reddish um, part is actually the dorsal aorta so you should remember this is a dorsal aorta okay which is the part of uh, no, the average originated from the heart. When this dorsal aorta is taking branch, I mean dorsal aorta when is actually making branch and then it's entering to the kidney, it's entering to the kidney, this aorta, this aorta is taking the artery into the kidneys and this is known as renal artery. So this reddish one which is segmented 
and making branch and to enter into the kidneys, they're known as renal artery. So we can say this this reddish one as as renal renal artery. Okay? Because this is renal artery is naming because of it's entering to the kidney. And you see this one, which is the bluish one, is actually the inferior vena cava. You must know about the blood circulatory system of a human heart. This is a double circulatory system. So you know that superior vena cava, inferior vena cava is carrying blood from the body to the heart. So this is actually the inferior, the inferior vena vena cava and from there when this is the inferior vena cava you know that this is vein okay so this was artery this was actually coming from the heart and this is a vein that will go to the heart so from when this is the vein part is again collecting blood from artery this is known as renal vein so the part of inferior vena cava which is coming from the kidneys they are known as renal vein so we can say that this one this one is actually the renal vein so this is renal vein so you understand the renal artery and the renal vein so renal artery is entering to the kidneys because this blood need to be purified and the nitrogen substance like urea uric acid and creatine should be I mean eliminate from the body and so it is just entering to the kidneys for the purification so this is dorsal artery this is renal artery and this is renal vein and you know this is kidney so in this case this is left kidney and this is right kidney and you see the left kidney is a little bit higher I mean situated in the little bit higher than the left kidney so when this is kidney I mean when the kidneys is purifying I mean it's eliminating the nitrogen substance inside these things is going on then the product from that that is urine will be carried out through this channel and these this is known as ureta. So this is known as ureta. And when you see this, this ureta is joined together, and this is something like you know ball shaped, uh, uh, like a bladder, and this is known as urinary bladder. Urinary bladder and then when it is actually is a functioning to the storing of of the urine and then through this line is eliminating the urea and this is urethra urethra so understanding the system is very important i am again saying that this is a level one lecture i mean primary level lecture because whenever you understand what is kidney what is urinary bladder, what is ureter and what is urethra and what is dorsal aorta and renal vein and renal artery hopefully a visualization into I mean to you will be much more focused and you can see things when you see some person then something should be visualized on your inner face that okay what is uh, respiratory systems and what are the kidneys and then what are the ureters and this is the figure so the main content of this chapter explains a lot so in this case what are the excreted product then we must say one thing the excreted products are the products are urea you can say that this is number one number one is urea and then number two is uric acid and number three is creatine so these are the excretory product that is actually producing 
from the kidney and that is eliminating in the form of urea. So you know that, it, I mean, when it is actually coming from, this is a waste, that it is actually urine. So the waste product, number one, the waste product that is actually urine and it looks yellowish. It looks yellowish because of the presence of a pigment which is name is urochrome. So you must remember one thing that urine looks yellowish, yellowish due to the presence of due to the presence of urochrome. Urochrome. So presence of urochrome makes the urine yellowish. So what are the things that we actually studied in this primary level explanations? I hope you know the picture. The most important thing is that students, those are right now is watching this tutorial, please draw the figures. When you draw the figures, that understanding level should be much more accurate and you can visualize the things. In the next video where I'll explain about kidneys and the structure of kidneys and then you'll understand what are the renal capsules, then cortex, then medulla, what is hilus and pelvis, then renal pyramids and then where is nephron and how many nephrons are there. A lot of explanations are coming. But in this video, this is the external explanation. That the external a morphology of the uh, excretory system. So I hope you know the definition of excretory system. I hope you know what are the part of excretory system. So we can say that the part of excretory system it can be like number one, four things like two kidneys, number two, two kidneys, two ureter, then number three is one urinary bladder. And number four is one urethra. So these four things is made up of the excretory system. Again, so we have two kidneys, we have two ureter, we have one urinary bladder, and we have one urethra. So through the urethra, the waste materials is disposed in the form of urine, and it looks yellowish with the presence of urochrome. And these are the main content of this chapter. So thank you so very much for watching the first tutorial and it's a very primary level explanations regarding the external morphology of excretory system and coming up with next about the functions and the structure of kidney. See you. Stay well.